Yo, what up, guys? I am back, trying to pick up where I left off. This is uh, not going as good as my last attempt or last video because this is already my third attempt at starting, and kind of my goal is to just, like, start, throw it down, and not be uh, overthinking anything, like, just throwing it down and talking and not getting caught up in, like, oh, the hey, what's up, guys, is awkward or whatever. Um, I think it doesn't help that this time I'm actually listening to National Championship game. Uh, kind of got some involvement in it this time because I'm from Michigan, a uh, Michigan State fan. So when Michigan wins, I'll never hear the end of that for the rest of my life. But um, still got a root for him being from Michigan and being in the Big Ten. But... Uh, I guess, sort of, I was just going to try to pick up where I left off, kind of, sort of, maybe, not really. Um, I believe mostly what I was focusing on was the tension, I guess, of uh, trying to start a habit like this. Um, as I said, in probably all three of these, this is the third, that, like, I guess I would try to start with some thing that would lead to a thumbnail or like you know I don't know when I decided to make videos like this I was kind of going probably somewhere within like the self-help niche but um as I said I'm not really gonna be throwing any like clickbait or like topics that are super concise into these like beginning things I'm just trying to like get something going um it's crazy, I almost want to restart this one because I'm two minutes in and I feel like I haven't delivered a good hook or like really said anything that was along the lines of where I'm trying to go. Um, I kind of like, like I'm just overthinking it for some reason. Like, I don't know, uh, Friday I was able to sit it down and really get into it. Both times so far when I sat down, I really got into it. This one, um, I mean, last night I had a chance where I could have recorded and I didn't. I just, the tension is still there, which I mean, I don't expect it not to be after only two, but kind of how I expected to start this was like, you know, sometimes I'll like get into a conversation or something. And for some reason, most normal people are probably not like this, but like if I know I'm going to have something or like I'm about to give a presentation or something, you'll kind of like think of the first thing you're going to say and then like, you get kind of frazzled and don't say it. Like, that's kind of like this, like, like just hit the three minute mark and I've been kind of talking nonsense, but I wanted to just kind of calmly get into this, light my candle. It's the fourth quarter of this game, crunch time, Michigan is up seven. I wanted to, oh my God, this one is, usually the candle does not light up this much. Or like the flame doesn't get that big, but see if I can work that in here um yeah I wanted to that's just one thing that I want to talk about I guess these are more so just like therapy sessions um but not really because I don't know I don't want to get can't reveal everything on here unfortunately but and so, I mean, I haven't even uploaded any of these yet, and who knows that I ever will. It might just be for my own uh, self-development, I guess, which is crazy. I'm overthinking what I'm going to do for something that might not even see the light of day. But really, I just, this is where I left off. I got this far into making my uh, Harry Potter castle. It's kind of sweet. And it was crazy how last time uh, I got 15 minutes in. And that's just how I've kind of been all week. Like, like I got 15 minutes in on that one, and it was so good. Or, you know, not good. If I went back, I'd probably be like, this is shit. But I, like, kind of got into a flow, and then my parents got here, and I had to stop. So I was kind of disappointed by that because I felt like I was on a flow where I could have talked for an hour. And even now, it sucks because my bedtime is in, like, an hour sort of self-imposed because um I wanted to watch this game and it started at six and I thought it would be over 
well before 10 for some reason or I don't know I don't know why I thought that I'd be able to watch it and be able to get all my other stuff done and why I didn't think about watching it and doing this earlier because once I get going here I feel like I could go for a good two hours um so it'd be tough for me to be a streamer because they just sit and bs all day and for some reason I'm sitting here I'm like I'm five minutes in and I haven't hit my flow yet but that's good that's good for the reps, I guess. Um, so I only got this deep. And honestly, I was kind of want to do this without making the video, just so I can enjoy this without the pressure of it. But, um, you know, pulling a Goggins and, or something, I don't know. I'm just trying to... Uh, To stay strong, keep the discipline going. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much I can go on talking about just the tension of. Oh wow, the quorum just scored a touchdown. I go up fourteen. It's looking like I'm gonna be living with Michigan fans chirping me for the rest of my life. Um. But yeah, it's good to know that is kind of distracting. It is not helping me with uh, kind of getting my thoughts in order. It was just the audio in my ear. But take it out, I'm a lot more present now, maybe. But yeah, the last two days I've been wanting to hop back on. I mean, I couldn't the Saturday when I was with my parents and I was just able to hit a flow so good that day. And I've kind of even forgot all the different topics I wanted to discuss. Um, I sound like a broken record right now, but it's kind of crazy how you know you're not going to build a habit. And you know, if I went to the gym twice and then if I went to the gym one day, took a few days break, and then uh, taking that thing out, stop my, stop the stream. Oh come on. Um. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, I know if someone's gonna come out too. That's annoying. Um. Oh my, come on. Since I'm on this stream website, it's gonna throw. 50 different ads up before I can get it back up. Um, Don't want to blow my candle out, but all right. I don't know why I'm just not getting into it right now. Not getting into the, not feeling the vibe of this, honestly. Um, eight minutes in, I guess I can do whatever I want. The other two I haven't even seen the light of day. I just, one of the things I've been doing, and it worked the last few times, but I guess on those days, instead of watching football, I did kind of watched a thought provoking podcasts and stuff was I was trying to sit down without having a topic and really kind of free flowing but I am hard pressed for topics right now which is kind of good because maybe I could just do something silent where I build Legos switch it up because really I'm just trying to find peace I guess um which I've been getting better at being more relaxed and chill. I am pretty calm and chill overall. I think a lot of people will say I'm chill or have told me, you know, they're, you know, I don't think I bother many people. I'm kind of like a, 
offset or not I'll take off as 21 Savage described. I'm kind of in my own world. I don't really bother anyone, but I do uh, just get in my head and worry about everything for no reason. And this weekend, I was supposed to have a great weekend out with my parents, and it was a great weekend, but I just feel like I didn't let myself totally relax and enjoy it. I don't really know, but it was funny because my mom and dad, they've been making fun of me for, I've been kind of doing it too. It's kind of like a running gag. Like when I was home, there were a few nights where I got to eat some steaks and stuff or some nice dinners. And I was basically like, sometimes I'll just eat a really nice meal. And it's even worse when I drink. Like if for some reason, you know, sometimes it's, it's interesting because sometimes you drink and I've been trying, you know, to cut out all alcohol, honestly, because of my gym grind. But um, we'll see. Honestly, I'd like to go completely straight edge at some point. But at this phase I don't know it's very hard I feel like I'm at a big metamorphosis where I'm trying to make so many different changes to my life and um I'm taking myself too seriously somewhat and I'm not sure if I want to go all in completely or not like I aspire to one day probably go all in but it's like I'm only 22, maybe I don't need to go all in just yet, but, um, regardless, so anyways, actually going off with the, the thing, and sorry, I, I don't know why I'm, like, talking so quiet and low energy, I just, I don't know, it's, it's the vibe tonight, um, wow, okay, forget that guy's name, Washington really needs to pick up the pace here, man. Because, I don't know, I guess I'd feel sad if Michigan lost. Not really. I don't want to hear it for the rest of my life, being a state guy. But So anyways, bouncing around three times. I'm starting to get into it now because I'm bouncing around. It's all different subjects. But it's funny how like, if you drink a little bit and then eat Taco Bell, sometimes it'll be like, you know, it'll bring it a level up. It'll be like the best food you've ever eaten. But then sometimes I feel like if I drink or I'm like a real fancy steakhouse or something with my aunt and uncle and I get like this amazing, super expensive steak and it tastes incredible. And like I have a few bites where I can tell it tastes incredible, but I feel like it just like subdues my taste buds or something. Or like when I have a really good meal. I mean, I guess when I had this steak meal at home, I don't even think I drank anything. Um, but I don't know what it is. I watched some... Well, let me finish the point first, I guess, is I'll eat a food and I'll like say it like three times for some reason. It just bothers me. Where I'm like, I feel like I didn't enjoy this steak or something enough or something, you know, like you'll get into a conversation at dinner or you'll be doing this or that or watching the game or what's a good one. Like, yeah, like the other day, um, just yesterday, actually, I had an amazing lamb burger at this restaurant. But I was watching the Lions game while I ate it. And it was just like, there was one point where I realized like I'm down to like half a burger and I haven't even been paying attention to the food. And it's like, how much can you really pay attention to it? And that's one of those things. There's so many different things like that in life where like you're at a beach or something or like you're got a pretty view or something or in a hotel room and you're about to leave. And like, there's just so many moments where you just wish you could hold on to it. And it's like, no matter what, for some reason, I'll get caught up in how I'm appreciating it. But no matter how much you try to appreciate some things, it's like you'll never be able to hold it. So I don't know why I even bother overthinking how I'm enjoying something. It's really just such a weird, stupid thing that I do. Um, like this, I'm already messing up. I like, I've been putting these things on, all weird. I put them on the wrong way. I put them with the whole side going the wrong way. Fourth and 13, Washington's about to lose this game. That's actually very sad.
or maybe this is a sign that I don't know, I'm 15 minutes in and for some reason I'm not catching the confidence or the flow that I was catching the other day. Um, let me see if I can get this piece of paper over here. I'm wondering if I should go into some of these topics for videos that I had come with, come up with way back before I even had filmed my taco video. This was um, back before Christmas break. I wrote these down. And this is one, I mean, it was only a couple weeks ago, but it wasn't even a thought in my mind that I'd turn on and just start rambling and make basically, basically I'd call these vlogs. Maybe I need to pick my voice up like that. Maybe I'll just, maybe the energy is way too low. Um, okay, last time I make a meta comment about this video or something, it's really stupid. I don't know why I, I'm feeling insecure, or not insecure, but like overthinking something that is not meant to blow up or something, you know, I'm just trying to, uh, build the the rep but third and 13 and yes okay throw a holding or do a, it's got to be pass interference but that is tough you should not have pass interfered right there oh on my big bridge yeah so maybe this might have to be a silent lego video but i guess you got to have expect the ups and downs because it's kind of reminding me of the gym. Um, okay, now there's one topic I kind of wanted to talk about. So, like, come on, man, look, this bridge one. Dude, come on. Yeah, maybe I started this two one foot win, one foot out with the game kind of on, distracting me. Um, I had kind of been focused on the game and hadn't really been watching any like thought provoking things. So even though I hadn't necessarily been, um, uh, they got a pick six probably. Oh, that's so tough. I don't know if I'll, maybe I should stop this so I can like actually hear what's going on, but I don't really care that much about it, I guess. Just sad. I don't know how to feel about that. It's tough when I watch college games because like, especially one so close to home, I just know they're going to be going absolutely crazy. Like, they're going to be partying out there and I feel so old. Like I just graduated college like a year ago, but low key jealous. I could not imagine that vibe on campus. Um, so that's sick. I hope my Michigan friends are out there and having a good time. Um, but yeah, I'll stop commenting on the video because it's probably already quote unquote in my eyes ruined um which the other two were is kind of funny i feel like if someone maybe the other two could have actually like caught on like someone could have watched the other two and be like oh this is kind of cool this guy's kind of vibing and maybe you guys can right now as well but energy's been pretty low um I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm just vibing right now. Um, this is funny because if I post this on this channel that I'm thinking of posting it on, like my main channel, um, like parents and family will see this and be like, well, this weirdo is just sitting here for 20 minutes like, oh, this video sucks, this video sucks. But I guess that's one thing is I think I touched on it last video, how proud I was that I sat down for the last one and talked for like 
an hour and 20 minutes straight um, while making those amazing tacos. And, you know, I just felt like I was really kind of like building on something or had started something that I had been wanting to kind of pursue for a while. Um, but like I said in the last one, it's tough because I don't know that I am really passionate about making videos or anything like that, I guess. Um, I've thought about it so much that you would think I would be, or I would think like, like it's weird, like it, this and music are like the two things that have really been big pillars in my life where it was like, okay, I'm either gonna try to become a YouTuber or try to make something in music. And I've had like modest success, honestly, in both. Um, but like, I think I'm just in love with the idea of the outcome and not necessarily the process because especially music, like for some reason, I really don't love making music, but then sometimes I look back at some of the things I have made and I'm like, dude, it's so cool that I made that thing. And then, uh, I just like, will go to try to make something and just, it doesn't work out. Like it's, it's just, it's so weird how somehow I made stuff and then sometimes like, I don't know, it's so hard to be able to pull that thing out of the hat. Like I saw a Nick Mira quote who, if you don't know him, he's a pretty successful, like new, uh, era producer or something, you know, kind of blew up with like Juice World and stuff in like 20, I don't even know how old that was, 2016 or something. And he had a good quote in like a YouTube video where it was like mining for diamonds in Minecraft. Like you gotta mine through the cobble to get to the diamonds. And I guess that's what this really is, is me just trying to get more comfortable talking in front of a camera for whenever the time comes when I'm ready to go strip mining for diamonds, which is why I'm not sure I spent, why I spent so much time in this video like an idiot. Kind of if, if I, if it wasn't ruined in the first two minutes, it definitely was in the last 20 with me having to reiterate so many different times how unprepared and no topic and whatever I'm doing, but I think it's good because I'm getting a rep in at low volume and carrying on, even though it would have been easy to at two minutes or six minutes or at any point in this, just decide to stop my train of thoughts. So if anything, this will probably be the most productive of my three sessions so far, because in this one, I'm actually having to, um, the other one and the other two things came really easily for me. And in this one, I mean, I'm doing decent now, but it started not as easy for me. So I think that helps overall in terms of maybe building the confidence, but I'm starting to catch the vibe now. I'm starting to catch it. I am a little disappointed because the last two I really enjoyed and not that I'm not enjoying this, I guess it's just not coming out as good as, or not feeling as good as I expected it to. Um, that could largely be due to just my mood the last few days. For some reason, I'm kind of on just like a downward, Debbie Downer, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe how I've been the last few days, but Usually that kind of comes and goes for me. So I'm not too concerned. I just, uh, I thought it was leaving today. And for the most part, it's been a pretty decent day. Um, like mood wise, but 
I don't know. The other two, I just, I really, uh, the other day, Friday, like, I can't remember if it was this way so much for the first video when I was just making tacos, but, like, the last one, so surprisingly, it was just, like, I was in a rush, and I didn't want to do it, and there was a lot of resistance, and the night before, kind of like this, the night before, like, just like yesterday, I didn't want to, or I did want to, and then I didn't do it, and whatever, but the last one, like, I felt like I caught such a vibe, and I was really, like, it was, um, it was, like, cathartic, almost, even though I wasn't sane, or, oh, so I gotta pay attention because these are slightly different here. It's interesting. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second. But yeah, the last one was almost like cathartic where I just caught a vibe and kept it pushing. Like, I just like felt like it was good. I was getting thoughts out and just it felt very relaxing and cathartic, I guess. It was funny, for a split second, as I'm saying this, it, I just thought of, like, my friends finding this channel and video and how tragic that would be. But that's part of this, is getting to the point where it's like, I don't care about putting out something like this, where even the last two, um, I mean, I didn't think those were bad or embarrassing, but this one you could probably say is not the greatest, just because of how... I keep going back to thinking it's bad. But see, look at this, the doors are different. Just cool, I like that, it gives a cool aesthetic, but um, yeah, I almost messed that up because I wasn't paying attention. I guess it wouldn't have made a structural difference, just an appearance difference, but uh, I guess it is fine for me to be low energy because I'm just appreciating kind of building this thing which is tough. I'm not sure half the reason I started this was because I wanted to build this, but I didn't want to continue off camera. So I'm not sure if I'm going to build this whole entire thing on here. But yeah, I'm not sure if this is as cathartic, but I guess I can make a good point of relating this to the gym where it kind of ties back to, I wanted to tie this story, tell the story like, 15 minutes ago, but I don't know what, uh, where I kind of got thrown off, but, um, so I had a little, I'd never really gone to the gym my whole entire life, believe it or not, despite how good I look, um, I started going in, like, June or July, I had, like, a month or two where I went, and then... Uh, when I started my new job, I've been, I'd been out of the gym, like, I just got lazy, or for whatever reason, I had the time to go, but, like, I'd get out of work and just take a nap or something, like, I don't know, I was not, not on my Sigma, Sigma grind, for sure, um, I started going basically as seriously as I could in like November 7th. I don't know, I get, I think a big thing that threw me off, like, okay, I'm taking a, a side note again now. I think a big thing that threw me off for this one is having the game on in the background because I'm watching it now. I'm starting to get like partially jealous. Like imagine being J.J. McCarthy or someone on uh, Michigan or any of these, like, college football winning teams. Like, you're literally the man on campus and you're going to get sponsorships and money and you're young and hip and, I don't know, must be cool. I wish I had tried uh, playing sports more when I was younger, but whatever. It's very rare. Super small percentage of the population. Not everyone can be J.J. McCarthy, I guess. Uh, but yeah, maybe having that kind of sidetracking me would not be the greatest. I almost kind of want to try breaking this up 
maybe I'll regroup for like 10 minutes and then get back to this after I like close that and like see what time it is and kind of think of what oh they show go crying oh god yeah because this is just kind of annoying me at this point because it's gonna be sad that my big brother school won a national championship um but so I'll just kind of finish the one story train I was going on uh so at the gym, I've been going basically every day since November 7th, give or take a couple days where like, it was actually like, I've been going every day unless it's like literally impossible for me to go, which it's never impossible, but there's been one or two days where I've been like on the road traveling for work and like start at like seven. And then I don't like really honestly get back to like eight and then I have to go the next morning and like, I don't know. And then, like, I don't even have a car. Like, I'm riding with coworkers and stuff. So, like, there's only been a few times where I've just been, like, absolutely unable to go. But, oh, wow. So, I'm starting a whole new base now. This is sick. Um, so, uh... So basically going to the gym has made me feel so good. Like 99% of the time it feels amazing. And then recently, or I guess the more I get into it and probably the more it becomes kind of like second nature or natural or normal for me, the more, um, God, yeah, this is probably not the best idea to do it right now just cause I'm watching them like give Jim Harbaugh the ice bath and I guess I don't really want to know what they're saying, right? Because this is going to be kind of painful. But, like, it's kind of historic. And it's kind of still a dub for my state. So, I don't know. Poor Washington, man. It was kind of a blowout. Washington didn't even... I thought they were supposed to have a good offense. I don't know. I guess I got to give props to Michigan. They were that good. But, anyways... Um, I've been going to the gym, and it's really good. I mean, when I had to first get back in, the first few workouts sucked because, like, I had to re, like, get that discipline back, I guess, which maybe this is what this is. You know, I had to get my discipline back for a few of these videos, even though the first two honestly felt pretty damn good, especially the second one. I was really on a high after that second one because it was just kind of impromptu, and this one is also impromptu. Um... But, yeah, I was going, I go to the gym and basically, God, it's taking me 50 minutes to tell this story. I'm just so bad with, with the story sometimes. Even in real life, I'll do this. I'll just stumble on a story for 40 minutes. But, um, like, the last few days have been perfect examples. Like, today I had a pretty good workout. But some days I'll go and I'll just have, like, such a great workout and feel so good about it and then the next day will just be like not a horrible workout but it will just not go as well as expected and even a few days ago i guess i had one that was as close to horrible as whatever where i just like felt like i was straining my back or something and not doing being able to pull as much weight on like all my exercises and like i felt like my form for some reason was whack and like i've been like why is my form whack all of a sudden when i've been doing it good and it was right off the back of like was it yesterday it was literally yesterday so i was like stressed and it was sunday and i was just really just working myself up for some reason and then this guy in the gym that I've kind of become friends with because he came up to me one time or something was telling me how good the form on my bicep curls was which was sick that was actually one of the coolest compliments i got some bro coming up to me telling me my curls are good so that was sick um uh 
But so I was talking to him and said how I'd been like drinking that weekend. And I didn't even say that I had been drinking. Like literally I was drinking yesterday too at lunch. And uh, so then I took a nap and then ended up going to the gym. But like he was saying, like, you know, some days you have great rest and uh, yeah, the alcohol obviously doesn't help with the rest. But like if you have a good workout one day, you're probably not going to have a great one the next day just because you exerted yourself so hard the day before. And I do kind of like, I've got like a four day split I'm doing right now where I do like chest, legs, arms, back. And then I have like my break day, which for my one first or second rotation, like I used to actually take it off as like a break day. And now I just, um, now I have like a cardio day, but I do a lot of the stair climber and like, uh, God, I can't believe Michigan's the national champions. I'm watching JJ McCarthy and Blake Corum give a speech. And it's crazy that I'm not listening to it. I really should, but also I don't care. So I don't know. It's just like haunting me in the background. I, I wish I could shut my laptop from here. Uh, but like that, I'm not sure if I'll, uh, I guess I can at least take it down so I'm not distracted. Put it in sleep mode. God, it's 10, 15. So yeah, maybe I'll just keep going with this. I could do a fourth video and try to like get myself composed and try again to see if that helps at all. Now that I have less distraction, but if I didn't ruin this by the 18th minute, I've ruined it by the 36th because I just keep, keep addressing that. Um, yeah, so it kind of changed my mind and made me feel not as bad. Uh. <coughs> Man. Ooh, I'm not editing these also, so that's tough well I guess I'm two for three so far in terms of videos so could be better could be a lot worse what am I doing here weird um okay i don't know why they flipped the picture for this sorry um getting back to my story that's taking way too long to tell basically it was like recovery i think that's the thing the other the other videos i was more alert to said to why do i keep going on about that uh But basically it comes down to recovery and like he said, some days you got it, some days you don't. So it kind of made me take a breather and just realize that is true. And then something like this here on this video, I don't realize that maybe it's just a recovery. I had a good one on the last video, so how can I expect this one to be great? But that is tough because I would like to, you know, there's such a hard, Tension, which I guess that's been the overarching theme of these first three videos is tension and niche and just trying to figure out exactly, oh, there's stickers for this one. I got stickers here. Exactly what I'm doing here, which is, um, do like, there's those two different mindsets I guess you could have with a YouTube where it's like am I trying to like make a video every day would be good if I'm trying to like get things going fast or am I trying to go slow and steady and make way better content like there's some channels that make a video every month and that's fine because they're great. They 
get millions of views. And then there's some that make them every day and they only get a million views every hundred videos, but it's like the other ones also get views and you put in the reps and maybe they're evergreen and blah, blah, blah. I guess more stuff that's just irrelevant because it's all how you feel about it at the end of the day, I guess. Man, even look at my stickers, how bad my sticker placement is. Doesn't look too bad. That one actually does look kind of bad, but Let's see. My computer turned back on. I'm showing Blake Corman cheerleaders just to make me feel even worse. Um, let me see. I'm going to put this in here. I'm not necessarily sure if it matters what way it goes in. I'll put it in that way. It's interesting because. Hmm. Actually, maybe I want it to be the other way around. Uh, is it supposed to kind of flip? I'm kind of confused by this. I guess you can kind of change which way you want it to go. Mm, no, once it clicks into place, it kind of clicks into place. That's interesting. That's weird that this side would be broken. I guess that's kind of how it's supposed to... I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see, I wonder how many more pages of this I have. Maybe I'll try to build the remainder of this in silence, kind of. Yeah, I'm basically done with bag one almost. So maybe that's where I'll call it. I'll do the rest of this bag and then I'll call it. And maybe I'll do a little bit more if I'm feeling it, but not looking like today was the best night and i don't know that i'll be able to record the next couple days so that's pretty tough but it is what it is um but yeah so with the rest of recovery i mean the last rep was good this one wasn't um maybe i'll save that for the next video going in on some of these topics since we're already 42 minutes in, um, hmm. Hmm, it's funny, one of these was gambling will cripple our generation, which is funny because I've been having so many bad gambling hiccups and stories, so I'll probably actually make that one soon. Uh, confidence is a slippery slope. That one's kind of true because like I wrote all these and I was feeling super confident about it and then I went home obviously and didn't end up making a video until last week or whatever it was. I think that was Friday I made my tacos and I didn't do anything Saturday or Sunday. That's kind of a shame. I don't know why I didn't do that. But um God, I had so many different things the other day. Like, I know I have hundreds of different things I want to talk about, and I should be able to get on a roll just like that other video that I made that was only 15 minutes, like, a week ago, or Saturday, which was just two days ago. And for some reason, I'm just completely oblivious right now, and I'm just keeping it going for whatever reason. Um... Man, they got the buffs on. It's a fun night. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's one thing that I've been trying to kind of realize with the gym is just showing up every day. And I think I'm relearning it with the gym, but I guess these things, all these things in life just take time. I'm trying to really build a sound mindset. And wow, 15 wins is most in Big Ten history, third national championship. And it's messed up. Um, yeah, so I'm really just trying to build a strong mindset through the gym and different things and my new job and just really trying to push myself in so many different ways. And I think my mindset is getting more positive and stronger as a whole, but then obviously I get set back every now and then. And I'd say, I wouldn't say there's a setback. I don't know why I'm being so hard on myself right now. At least, uh, 
put my camera up and talked for 45 minutes. That's more than I could ever say for a few weeks ago. I'd be way proud of myself for this. I think it's just the fact that the last two I had were so good. And even the last, or I wouldn't even say so good. Um, the first one was, it was still better than this though, because I feel like at least I had topics and was kind of not repeating myself so much and kind of been more of like a negative thought loop. I was probably, I think I was more positive in that. But um, now Jim Harbaugh celebrating this with his family. Um, but it's the same thing with the gym and the, and the workouts and kind of, I'm not doing a great job of hammering home this point, but basically, um, with the gym now, I'm getting all caught up in like, oh, this was a bad workout or not a bad workout, but it will be like, not as good as my last back day or something. And for some reason, like I'll let it frustrate me. And even though I think to myself, like, it, it's tough for me to realize that, okay, like I still literally two months ago or three months ago now, like just going to the gym would have been an achievement. But now I go to the gym, have a way, but like even a month ago, the workout I just had would be so, so much better than like my bad day like you know what i mean like a bad day in the gym this week is like a great day in the gym two or three weeks ago and you know it's just like how do i let that get me down where it's like just getting this rep of talking on the camera right now is way better than anything i did just a couple weeks ago um, and I guess that's just something that a lot of these things, that's, it gets me mad. I guess it's like studying in school. So many things in life, like you can't just hear something once and learn the lesson. Sometimes you really got to let it absorb over time and just keep putting in the reps and keep putting in the reps and keep putting in the reps. Like it's only January 8th. I've made three of these so far, which is better i'm trying to think if i made any videos last year i think i made two over the summer so i'm already doing better than i did all of last year and i'm kind of getting in a weird vibe right now because this one isn't great it'd be weird to see how i reflect when i turn the camera off because i've still been talking for 48 minutes it just hasn't been what i would consider good i guess it was like a happy accident the last two because like i wasn't going into them with any expectations just like i wasn't going into this with any expectations and i guess i kind of ruined this by making this the whole theme of the video that this one isn't that good like what am i doing i've just been talking for 48 minutes about how stupid this was but with the last two um i went into them with like okay it's gonna be you know it won't matter it's, i'm just like not trying to get any views or anything like the result didn't matter. But I think after them, I kind of gained confidence where I was like, Hey, I don't think that was bad. I feel like maybe someone would actually watch that because they would just enjoy my vibe. And this one, I don't know why I'm feeling so insecure about my vibe. Maybe someone's watching this and likes my vibe. They're just wondering why I'm so, uh, insecure about my vibe right now I guess it's kind of insecure in me right now but um there we go it's the first bag done even though I've got a few extra Legos here but that is pretty sweet I might have to make a bag and not on video though because I don't know like the steak did that take some of the enjoyment out of it I don't know I still got to do something with my hands. Maybe that was it. The mix of me doing something with my hands. I mean, that worked for last video, but that coupled with watching something. Um, where was I? Where was I? But so, yeah, the last two, I felt like they just ended up having like somewhat value to them. Or I was like maybe getting ahead of myself and whatever. But here, let me I think I got Harry Potter right here, which is cool. 
can barely see his scar with this hair. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to put the hair on him. Close enough, I guess. What the heck? I really can't see the scar with the hair on him. I'm shocked they did that like that. I guess it is kind of usually a little hidden under his hair, but... I gotta like keep it more loosey goosey on them. It looks kind of funny. So you can barely see that. Jim's giving a speech. That's probably not gonna focus. Like, he looks funny as hell like that. Um, I'll just put it down all the way on top. Um, but yeah, it's kind of. A shame how this turned out, but I don't really care. I'd still put it out anyways. Um, the hatter, I just wasted 50 minutes of my life. Not like the other two were not also a waste of time, but I guess, yeah, it's a, just a learning experience. I don't know why I've been going on for 52 minutes, just caring, just. I've said that 55 times now, but just kind of, I could have just picked it up and went from somewhere, but I guess my brain just really isn't coming with the topics today. So, um, yeah, the gym, I guess is like, well, I'm trying to think if I finished my point, it's just another rep. I just got to keep it pushing and keep fighting the resistance and the tension that comes with like turning the camera on and trying to talk i'm still trying to figure out i guess i'll kind of try to regroup my thoughts and think about it for next time but what my purpose is trying to be and if i'm this is really it because you know last time like i said i was really feeling a cathartic moment really kind of letting everything out in those 15 minutes and now 52 minutes i've been here and i'm not sure how to feel about the vibe. Maybe it's because Michigan won. Maybe it's just because I'm low energy right now. I don't really know what it is. Which is weird. I don't know why I'm being low energy. Maybe it's because I'm scared of people hearing me through the walls or something. But uh, yeah, this will be a tough one to rewatch. Putting out some tough game film. I think I'm having a Washington Huskies moment right now. But. Built our watchtower, which is kind of cool. We got Harry here. And I think I'll try to regroup and hit you in the next one. So, mm, yeah, I guess that's it. Peace.